Okay guys, I will demonstrate again how to uh, uh, gain some kind of power, okay? So as you can see, first of all you can see that I made a video yesterday and I talked about the, um, the what did I call it? Yeah, the creation of suffering. And so I mentioned that the balloons are popping in, over US and this is like the Winnie the Pooh balloons, okay? Um, just a funny reference to the old videos, okay? And um, so in this video about suffering yesterday, I mentioned that, um, that there are balloons in that movie Nope and the balloons are over US. And if you look at this like combination of country st statistics, whether you believe it or not for this moon key, uh, moon key pox. You can see that it's 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 mostly in US. You can see it, okay? So it's it's at the top, right? Mm. And it's growing today, 200 more, uh, while the rest of the world is um, yeah nothing at all, right? So somehow somehow it's still going on there. When is this last update dated? Can I see? I don't know, but apparently, where is the date of this? Uh, it should mention the, the, the date, in my opinion, but maybe this is today, okay? Can I see? Well, anyhow, there seems to be things still going on there in US and um, so I want to mention something. I want to mention the lack of medicine that has been spreading in China, but also the the sense of the medicine is not working. The the uh, the you know the yabba dabba do is is not generally is not doing anything. You know. And this has to do with maybe just words, maybe just speech. You say something and all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. Like magic. Okay. So this is a demonstration about how to gain power and to, uh, or the will to power, right? Uh, let's get some power. Um, okay. So. I'm going to say something now that is going to e irreversibly change the world the world with just making people aware of knowledge and and um, in a way that is uh, destructive so I'm going to do it now okay but in my opinion is it destructive no it's just natural okay that's my point of view so uh, I will talk about a word that has to has to do with scapegoating and I beg you like one of my big listeners if you just quote me here if you just talk about similar stuff like I'm going to say something here which is going to be powerful and be my guest please use it and please credit me just uh, because this is the thing you are probably going to say this also because this is actually very good okay you're going to want to hear this and use it okay maybe you can just let, write my uh, my name there in in the channel description or what you say the video description okay so yeah uh, there is a way to make all medicines fail and you do that because you just think about how it's not okay to scapegoat and what is a scapegoat? What's, the scapegoat is medicine this has never been said before maybe it has like 1000 years ago the scapegoat is the medicine 
and I will explain why and this is going to just uh, pulsate with power okay it's going to uh, destroy medicine uh, because as long as you don't uh, as long as you don't scapegoat as long as you don't blame people the magic of blaming doesn't work anymore there is no power in it anymore and the secret is the knowledge of what medicine is what is medicine the medicine is the scapegoat so scapegoat in greek is called pharmakos which literally means medicine the medicine for the culture of a society is represented by the scapegoat carrying away the sin because people live in denial and can't st stand the knowledge of how they ut utterly suck this is the same reason why the word pharmacy is a combination of the Greek Greek term pharama to to charm and to enchant it means and kos representing uh, resulting in pharmakos uh, which is a magic uh, magic charm cure potion medicine and and so you get the latin pharmacy uh, and um, according to greek mythology kos in pharmakos is the sacred la land of a asclepius the god of healing the snake on a rod now starts to make sense so this is the thing um, when you refuse a scapegoat to be created you also refuse medicine and you refuse uh, pharmacy and uh, this uh, this uh, destroys the idea of of something curing you from your own disease of sin okay this maybe somehow it is the sin itself that that makes you sick and you want to cure it by creating a scapegoat but when we just when i feel like no uh, scapegoating is wrong don't blame anyone or spe specifically don't blame don't, don't put all the blame on one person like one politician and so on so when this uh, this idea about not blaming anyone is spread uh, the sin eats people up and you can't be cured from your own sin okay uh, and uh, so the medicines doesn't work anymore and how that is manifested into our world is like you cannot buy medicine because uh, just the fact that medicine stops working is a bit like too illogical for the left-brained masses to uh, accept okay so uh, instead it's like no you can't get any medicine we're out of medicine like it is like it was in china but i think this is just a manifestation of how um, you don't blame the leaders but you just feel how you like, like we utterly suck ourselves and this is all our fault the state of this world uh, so uh, yeah um, so this is some power here this is this kind of things like words like this can change uh, the world uh, into um, maybe you can call it a worse place like more suffering like uh, you cannot get a medicine um, and I, as I said, like, <laughs> uh, welcome the corona into your heart. Maybe that's the way of doing it. Uh, and uh, that's how I see it, right? And well, just wanted to share some thoughts. This is something I didn't mean to say, uh, but I wanted to get it out there and see what happens. Uh, so bye bye.